Laddie F. Core Hall is located on ASU's Tempe campus and serves as a multifunctional building hosting classrooms, lecture halls, offices, and a technology lab. This facility is classified as an educational building accommodating many different types of students, programs, and activities. When studying this facility, it is easy to notice a wide variety of people, activities, and programs, and objects within the space. There are a multitude of different people that come to Core Hall, but the main actors of the space are students, teachers and staff, sororities, researchers, and the maintenance crew. All of these different kinds of people come to Core Hall, each for different reasons. Students learn, read, research, study, and attend class, while professors teach, lecture, tutor, collaborate, and host meetings. Other varieties of activities at CORE include biking, skateboarding, walking, socializing, cleaning, security, eating, and parking. With all of these people doing all of these different activities, there needs to be artifacts in place that help provide for functionality of the space. At CORE Hall, you can find a multitude of chairs, desks, tables, computers, electrical outlets for computers, doors, public restrooms, key fob systems, printers and copiers, your standard MEP systems, and of course anything else you would find in a typical educational facility. After looking at the architectural structure of the building and how its occupants use the space, there is a general dichotomy in the atmosphere of the space. In the offices, lecture halls, and classrooms, we find formal, quiet, and intimate spaces, while in the other hallways and ground floor of the building, we find major traffic area with informal, loud, and open spaces. The spaces of this building flex from high energy to low energy, from laid back to very stressed. After speaking with one of the facility's co supervisors, Core Hall Security and Disaster Plan operates like most ASU's building on campus. Because CORE is a multifunctional space with an underground and several story building, there are different precautions needed to be addressed for each area. The strength of the building is that it's made of concrete and is sturdy enough to withhold any typical Arizona storms. A major weakness would be the decreased access points for egress in the underground level and the glass facade of the upper levels. In contemporary times, one of the biggest threats to the building system seems to be that of firearms. Looking at the major threat, the upper levels may need to be addressed First, with the glass facade, while the lower levels have the easiest capacity to lock themselves in a concrete classroom. The current safety plan is pretty general to the school and isn't taking into account the unique features of the building itself. It definitely is crucial to have a safety and security plan that takes into account the weaknesses of the lower level for a disaster and the weaknesses of the upper level for a potential threat. The facilities management team needs to make adjustments according to the building's size, structure, and actions taking place in this facility.